is King Ethan. Welcome back to another tech video on our new channel, King Ethan Tech. And please make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and hit that like button for more cool tech videos coming up in the next little while. Today, we are going to be looking at our Christmas presents we got in 2020. And also, I hope you had a very merry Techmas, or that's what we call it in the tech world, but I hope you had a very merry Christmas and I hope that you're enjoying this new year. And I mean, um, some countries, I can't have the fireworks display, but um, I hope that you're still enjoying yourselves. Um, um, down the... Um, 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 um. So today, we are going to be looking at the Christmas presents we received and all the all tech goodies. And we're gonna show them off and we'll have some pricing and we'll have some things if we want to get them in other countries. So again, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. The first gift we received is the Dell keyboard and mouse. This specific model number is the KM636. It costs only $50 in New Zealand 36 in the US, 35 pounds in the UK, 45 Canadian dollars, 38 Australian dollars, and in South Africa, it costs 610 Rand. The big side's a full-size keyboard, and it has a really nice numeric keypad. It's wireless, and it uses a USB adapter, and you just plug that into your computer. And the power is an AA battery for the mouse and AA batteries for the keyboard. It's really nice and the numeric keypad is really sturdy. Uh, and the full function keys are there. Everything is there. It's really durable. It feels really nice to type on and it is really nice. received is the Tucano Calor laptop sleeve. It costs $40 in New Zealand, but that's the only place you can get it from. So if you are a New Zealander, then you are so in luck, like everything else this year. Yes, New Zealand, I can get you, but I will! Ha ha ha! If the specs is, it can do, go from a 13.3 inch notebook up to a 15.6 inch laptop presumably the MacBook Pro or, you know, one of those HPs. It's a seal zipper, that's how it works, and you just unzip it from the sides, and it's, you know, it's so durable, and it feels so nice to the touch, and it is, like, really soft, and it'll protect you more if it's in a laptop bag, but it's pretty nice, and, I mean, for the price tag in New Zealand, it's pretty good value for money. A quick message to all our new viewers. Roses are red, violets are blue. If you're enjoying this video, a sub to the channel would be great too. <laughs> the next gift we receive is a Kingston micro SD card. It costs only 25 US dollars. So in New Zealand it costs $40. In the UK it costs 12 pounds. In Canada it costs $50. In Australia, it costs $30, and in South Africa, it costs 670 Rand. It has 128 gigabytes of capacity, so coming from another like a 16 gig phone and getting 128 gigs is amazing. It's micro SD format, so you just plug it into your Android device and it works perfectly. Sorry, iPhone users, you guys don't get micro SD cards. And it's got an adapter. So it's pretty nice if you want to like start like transferring photos from your phone, you just plug in the adapter, put it into your laptop, and boom, you got a nice storage device. And last but definitely not least is the Samsung Galaxy A01. It's Samsung's cheapest offering at the moment. Um, but it's not like the budget phones that don't perform and have the stupid Android Go whatevers. They work really well. 
It's got a really nice 6.5 inch display. Uh, it's got a really nice um, like 720p resolution and it's really, really, really nice. It's got 16 gigabytes of storage, but obviously we expanded that with the Kingston micro SD card. It's really good. We have two gigabytes of memory and we have the Snapdragon 439 chipset. It's not quite that high up, but it's definitely better than the budget Nokia phones with Snapdragon 135s. It's got an octa-core CPU and an Adreno 505 GPU. So just for those people who don't quite understand all of this, the chipset is basically combining everything together. It has the CPU, which is the brains, which powers all the functions, and the GPU, which powers all the graphics, the screen things, and all of the, you know, all of the other screen things. It has a 13 megapixel main camera, two megapixel depth sensor, five megapixel selfie camera. Now, the, all of the 13 megapixel and the two megapixel depth sensor is actually better than the iPhone XR. Wow. It has a 3000 milliamp hour battery, which is actually considerably better than the iPhone SE from Apple, which is Apple's cheapest offering, which is way more expensive. In New Zealand, this costs $250. In, in, in New Zealand, the iPhone SE costs $750. So it's 500 more. On to pricing, it has sold for $127 in the US. In the EU, they don't sell it. Well, well, at least we haven't found a price for that. In the UK, it sells for £105. In Canada, it sells for 160 Canadian dollars. In Australia, it sells for $134. And in South Africa, it costs 2,000 rand. And in the connections, it has dual SIM. Uh, not, not, not the eSIM, not the eSIM. It's got proper SIM. And it's got micro USB charging and data transfer. So, I mean, for the price range, I think it's fine. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, but I think that this phone is pretty nice. And I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're wanting a budget phone, and but you want a decent phone, go for the A01. It's perfect. And that's all about Technus gifts. I hope you had a wonderful Technus again, and thank you for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on post notifications. And we'll be doing more tech videos coming up in the next few months. So stay tuned. We'll be doing lots of unboxings and lots of showcasing and lots of reviews. So please make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! And again, thank you so much for enjoying the video. If you... Oh, what the... What the... Seriously, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me today? Oh my god.